Uh, hey everybody, Slugger Knight here. I wanted to do a quick uh, video um, called My First Pixel Shader in Unreal Engine. And here we go. So this is what we're going to end up with. We're going to make a pixel shader that uh, is doing what you see here. And I'll explain exactly what that is uh, momentarily. So all I have to do is make a whole new, um, make a new project. Uh, when you come in, you need to uh, probably you're probably gonna have like a you're gonna see some like folders like this or something. Click click this over here. So we want to see this panel. Size it up a little bit. Right click content and make a new folder. Uh, in our case, mine is called Shader Test and Shader Test. Ignore the other stuff here. It would be empty, right? Um, we're going to right click, create a material. I called mine Pix Shader, and you're going to need a noise texture. And if you don't know how, in, how to get a noise texture uh, from my other videos, just Google noise texture. Really? There we go. Noise texture. Uh, let's do color noise texture. Go to images, find the noise one that you like. Um, shoot, actually, uh, this is kind of cool. So we'll take this, save image as Dvorak noise two. Um, it's a GIF image. I don't think we care. So boom. So we download it, right? We've got the texture we want. You can use whatever texture you like. Um, noise texture is just going to be helpful later on. You can download whatever you want to be put on there. Um, so we've downloaded it. We go to wherever that uh, that was. Open up Unreal Engine again. Click and drag. And drop. And it doesn't like it. It doesn't like chips. So uh, let me show you how to do that real quick. Open it up in Paint. Alt F. Freaking Dvorak, dude. Gets me in trouble every time. Save as, and let's just do a JPEG that's just as good, who cares? Save, done, noise to JPEG, drag, drop, bam. So, we're gonna save for now. So, we should have an empty pixel shader. Yours would look black or white, this ball here, instead of colored. Uh, let me go ahead and just, uh, break links, so. Save, save. So, here's the look black. You'd have your noise texture sitting here. Double click on your pixel shader, your, your, yeah, your pixel shader, which is, it's really a material. We're gonna call it a pixel shader in this case. So, I'm gonna get rid of these. <sighs> this is what you have, right? Right. Type in custom. And over in custom, we know what our code is just going to return X. So we're returning whatever we're taking in. Um, and this is going to look like this. So we still want to output a float 3. We can still just call it custom. We don't really care. Inputs, so we're going to drop down. And it's going to look like that. We're going to drop down again. Just call this X and hit enter. And it's going to... It might give you an error saying, "Hey, I don't have, I don't have anything coming in for X." Uh, there we go. That's why. So as soon as you start connecting these nodes, that's when they say, "I don't actually have this information." Um, go back here. We're gonna grab our noise texture, and we're just gonna click and drag it up, drop it right here, and output that into X. Now, that looks good, right? But you remember how it was before, when I'd move the camera around, and the pixels would sort of stay um, centered at that's how we're, this is how we're going to do that. For our UVs, right, uh, this is the UV is actually the XY coordinate of the texture that we, uh, wherever we're sampling it. So we can do all kinds of things. We can do like random um, numbers. We can do all kinds of strange things. But we want screen position. And we're just going to use that for UVs. And when we do that, look at that. Uh, uh, so it's gonna take a minute to catch up. Mine actually crashed. My my Unreal Engine crashed earlier from trying to do this. So save early, save often, as they say. Um, 
and that should do it. So you can see now, uh, this sh this should be updating, and we should be seeing it here. But it just it's just not clicking with Unreal Engine. It's not flowing right. Doesn't matter. Uh, we can hit play now, and you can see that no matter where we look, the texture. So we're sort of scrolling across the texture wherever this this object lies on the screen coordinates, wherever it is on the screen. See how that's staying centered? It's because that's the center of the uh, image. So pretty cool. Hope you guys like it. Just a really quick, dirty, easy way to get your very first pixel shader working. See you guys.